Hey, what's going on, everybody? Here we are, day two, just getting home. Uh, left work at around seven, and I'm getting here now. Do a couple things, and I might go to um, Costco today, or I might wait till Monday, I don't know. I'm tired as hell, the weather's awful. Um, gotta go to the gym at some point today. So I'm gonna hit a bishop and tell him to get his ass up around noon. Uh, get a workout in, and then I gotta come home and do some final touches for the show this weekend. And also a couple other things for a job and stuff. But uh, yeah, man, I this is my second day of posting these videos. Um, I said I don't have that crazy of a life where every day is gonna be something exciting. Uh, but um, I took that challenge, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. And uh, here we are, day two of twenty. All right, here picking up Bishop for the gym. Doesn't look like he's got a gym bag, and I don't know. A gym bag or what? No. Better like that, huh? Yeah. You I've ready? everything provided for me. Yeah, you got your own private locker? Yep. As I should. Yeah. <laughs> King of the mid card. <laughs> What's your favorite match that you've ever had? That I've ever had myself? Yeah. Uh, probably thought a question would be me versus J.R. Kratos of River City Rumble. Uh, it had everything in it. The guys were involved and Whole show built up for it. He's so fucking good. Uh, you know, fucking 800 people there, loud screaming, and everything just clicked. <clears throat> and he's one of my favorite guys to work. So, anytime I get to work him is one of my favorite matches. Uh, now he's on to bigger and better things than working with the old man. But uh, that's probably with, with I would say without a doubt that's probably my favorite match ever. All right, same question to you. What's your favorite match you've been involved in? Um, I have to say, I'd say Alan Angels, just because how big he is in the wrestling world. It was cool to be in the same ring with him, or Salem, Abigail. Uh, working with her is on a different level, so it was great to work with both of them. So I'd say that those two are my favorite matches. Favorite means one, but that's a right off okay, for you. Well, I'm, just, one of I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, workout done. Gonna head out and get some food right now. Take Bishop home. I gotta eat, man. Gotta get some fucking size back on me. Uh, down to 209 right now. I'd like to get up to around 220 again if it's good weight. So we'll see. All right, so what's going on, everybody? I'm here in a nugget right here before I go into work. Gotta get something to eat on. Get my protein count up for the day. Trying to get that size on. Uh, just got bad news, man, about the show Saturday. I'll, I'll get into it in the video when I get to work. But uh, basically, they canceled the show. We had to cancel the show. It sucks because that was going to be such a good show. And uh, really looking forward to it, man. So um, it's uh, kind of heartbreaking. But like I said, I'll get more in depth into it uh, when I get to work and do the video and close out and all that. But um, uh, just here, grabbing a few things and going to head to work. Hey, how's it going, everyone? So, <clears throat> I'll give you the story on a, a brief story about the cancellation. Uh, <clears throat> basically, it's, it has to do with financial stuff. Um, we have a deposit that we just roll over, and apparently they say they gave it back to us, and we didn't have it for this show. So, the option was to <clears throat> pay the, another deposit down, which is pretty pricey for a community center, and then they can figure it out where the rest of the money went or whatever. Um... We have no record of a deposit in our account or nothing, so it's some error somewhere. I just couldn't risk having guys coming from out of state and stuff um, coming up here. And then I was telling them tomorrow night, yeah, it's canceled. Um, I, I hate canceling shows, man. I haven't had to cancel one since COVID. Um, and it sucks. Uh, and, uh, there's several reasons why. Obviously, I hate letting the boys down, the fans down. Um, I, I have a lot of guys who decline other bookings to work for us, and it really makes me upset that they miss those bookings and then we have to cancel. All the guys are cool with it, you know, or they say they are, but it's still, it's not like we're paying a lot of money, but it's the fact that um, for us that are members of the Ugly Dojo, when we get everybody together, it's always a good time. Um, what really hurts my, my soul 
is we work with uh, a lot of special needs um, companies. We work with uh, Founded and Autism for Heroes, Heroes of Autism. Um, Ginger and uh, Alexis are great, great women. I, they're so cool. They're so nice, and uh, our shows mean so much to the to those to those uh, guys and girls that come out to those shows, and uh, their families come out as well. So um, it just means a lot. And then for us as wrestlers, uh, it means a lot to to uh, interact with them and see them so happy. <clears throat> On a personal note, I love when the, when they're there because the guys I work with, my wrestlers, get to see. Um, what I do, uh, I work with people with special needs outside of wrestling, so they get to see why I do it and the joy it brings. Uh, wrestling brings them to to that clientele and those individuals. Man, it's just um, something amazing, man. Um, so that that really is upsetting. And of course, the community of uh, Vacaville they really look forward to us being there and um, and putting on our shows. But um, we're working through it now. Hopefully, we, hopefully we get to come back in December. Um, we still have our show Friday here in West Sac, um, and we've got a couple other things working on as well. But uh, Vacaville means a lot to us, man. That's like our home, and um, we can't wait to get back there. So hopefully this gets resolved quick, and I do apologize. It's just it's the wrestling business, man. Uh, a few hours ago, I was really pissed off, but, you know, kind of worked itself out. Um, but anyways, man, that's the, the way this business is, and that's the way it's happened for the dojo. And then on top of that, tomorrow's supposed to be the biggest storm in the history of Sacramento. So uh, we're going to be doing this show. Uh, luckily, it's indoors, but pretty much at these uh, brewery shows, a lot of stuff we do, the locker room things outside. So we're going to have to make it work. Um, but we're excited, man, and um, we're going to make it roll. All right, see you all later.